Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars diecast review. Today we're going to take a look at Louise Barnstormer Nash, the Thomasville Piston Cup Legend number 94 from Cars 3. Now before we get right into the review and the retrospective, let's start with the unboxing. Here we've got her die cast sealed in, the Cars 3 logo rotated and flipped, the bonus collector card and the mini poster included as shown, her name Louise Nash, the Mattel logo, and on the back we have the Cars 3 logo rotated and the description saying, blindsided by a new generation of Piston Cup racers, Lightning McQueen finds himself suddenly pushed out of the sport he loves. To get back on top, he will need the help of a young race technician, inspiration from the late fabulous Hudson Hornet, and guidance from a few old friends along the way. And, and the cars shown on there are Rusty's Cruiser Mirrors, H.J. Hollis, who I unfortunately don't have, Junior Moon, Terry Cargaz, Phil Tankson, and Chris Revstopsky, who I also unfortunately don't have. 2017 Mattel, the Mattel logo, service.mattel.com, Nash Ambassador, which is copyrighted, Ford, which is also copyrighted, www.mattelshop.com, www.disney.com slash cars, Disney slash Pixar, service.mattel.com. Oops. And now, without any further ado, let's get right into the unboxing. I'll be right back as soon as this had been unboxed. So here we have Louise Nash all opened up and out of the package. So, <clears throat> Louise Barnstormer Nash is a 1950 Nash ambassador who lives in the town of Thomasville in Georgia. Used to, she used to race in the Piston Cup with the number 94, was the first lady in racing, inspired and based off of the late NASCAR driver, Louise Smith, who used to drive a 1950 Nash Ambassador, her, her real-life model in the NASCAR Cup Series, and was voiced by Margot Martindale. During her appearance in Cars 3, she, along with her fellow racing legends, Junior Moon and River Scott, please note this is actually the Hot Route River Scott, right? so I still don't have the normal River Scott. Anyhow, those three were seen at the Cotter Pin Bar and Grill when Smokey Lightning McQueen, Cruz Ramirez, Luigi, and Guido had entered when they saw Lightning McQueen and Cruz Ramirez entering. And during, while Sweet Tea was singing Glory Days, Louise Jr. and River and Smokey told Lightning and Cruz about the, the, day, the days of racing on the dirt with the fabulous Doc Hudson Hornet. And... According to Louise, yes. she, um, <clears throat> according to River, I meant to say, Louise used to have serious eyes for Doc, meaning that they used to be a couple, which I happened to ship 
Doc and Louise Nash as a couple. Anyhow, <clears throat> anyhow, Louis, according to Louise herself, she knew she had to get into the Piston Cup circuit. Of course, the officials in charge of the circuit didn't like the idea of a lady in racing, so she stole a num the number 94 from another racer. And during Smokey's flashback, she, along with Junior and River, raced with Doc. And at the Thomasville, even at the Thomasville racetrack in, in the 1950s. Then later, oh, and I forgot to mention that she was seen in an achieved footage of Doc's crash in 1954. Anyhow, she was then seen while Smokey were, was training Lightning and Cruise for the Florida 500 of the 2017 Piston Cup season at the Florida International Speedway. And she later did Moonshining with the two along with Smokey, River, and Junior. Then later on during the race, she along with Junior and River were seen in the stadium watching Lightning McQueen and Cruz race against Storm. She was then seen cheering for Cruz during her victory. Then later on, at the end of the film, she was seen in Radiator Springs when Cruz Ramirez was repainted into her Dynaco new paint job. Then, then during the end credits, she, along with Junior and River, received new paint jobs with flames from Ramon which I don't have the hot rod Louise Nash. She was then seen, she then reappeared in the video game Cars 3 Driven to Win as a play, playable or selectable character. And during her diecast releases, she was released only one time as a single. And she was also re-released as a Hot Rod variant in 2021. And now, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. Here we've got her happy facial expression, her headlights, no grill, the Nash logo on the hood, and her chrome silver gray front bumper. And the no tables on the hood, just a silver gray trimming. And her cream exterior paint job. And on both sides, we've got the maroon number 94 on both sides of her door. The ambassador logo, which is copyrighted. And the white the the chrome silver gray rims on the black wall tires which are half covered and the gas cap and on the top we got a bit of pink interior and her name signature saying Louise Nash on both sides and on the back we have 
the words Nash Ambassador on her trunk, which is copyrighted, the red working taillights, and the chrome silver gray back bumper, the exhaust pipe, and the license plate saying First Lady, impl license plate saying First Lady, meaning that she was the first female piston cup racer. And on the undercarriage, it says Disney slash Pixar, made in China. Mattel. And now for her collector card. Here we've got the, we got Thomasville Speedway, home of 94. Her name's saying Louise Nash, and a drawing of picture of Louise Nash herself races every weekend fastest racers every Sunday Southern Gasoline Gold and uh, the Cars 3 logo rotating and flipped and a bit of red and black background And that is it. Now let's pull up some of the other Thomasville inhabitants. We have Smokey. Oops. Two versions of Junior Moon, regular and hot rod versions. River Scott, alias Hot Rod River Scott. I'll have to get the regular River Scott another day. Sweet Tea. And Xanadu Bumpers. And some of the other 1950s Piston Cup racers. We have the fabulous Doc Hudson Hornet. Jimmy Lugrench, and Lee Weathers. Please note this is my take on Lee Weathers. My own take on Lee Weathers. And that is it. So, what do you... Oh, and I forgot to mention that I got her off of eBay yesterday during the Watkins, the Go Bowling at the Glen at Watkins International Speedway yesterday. But what do you guys think? Which Thomasville inhabitant is your favorite? Which 1950s Piston Cup racer is your favorite? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And also don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye now!